My name is George Fickow. I work at Coding Excellence, right in Wisconsin. And my role is a sustainability manager of the packaging. And what we make here are packages similar to the little sugar packets that you might have on your restaurant table, or the wrapper that you might get your hamburger in, or something like the insulation that you put in your house or your cabin. We have the paper facing that you open up and then you would staple to your dwelling and that keeps some moisture. A real good way to think of it is a butcher paper, which would be the paper with a plastic coating on it. And we make those in large quantities and we send those then to companies that actually convert or fill them before they go on to the consumer. One of the other things we do make, which is really quite interesting, are large pet food bags. If you think of the old paper bag that they use for pet food, we've now come up with a new bag that's made of 100% polypropylene, fully recyclable, that has a lower carbon foot that helps get more food from the point of fill to the consumer. Well, in our company at Coding Excellence, from the very beginning, since our company's about a 12-year-old company, we wanted to do something different than the way business was done in the past. And one of the things that we looked at was setting up an environment where employees would like to work, such as a clean plant, where we use as few chemicals as possible. We use water-based inks when we print. We have very nice air quality in here because we want our employees to be in a safe, clean work environment. So we have very high safety standards and we train our people because number one, our employees at Coding Excellent. So we do take care of this. That's a sustainable thing to make sure you're taking care of your people within inside of your manufacturing site. The other thing would be, which is popular today, is taking care of your environment or the planet, again, making as little waste as possible and sending it outside of your plant or dealing with it inside to make sure that you change your processes and what you do to do it as green as possible with as few emissions. And so we have a very clean inside using electric fork trucks, for instance, so that there's no gas or anything or emissions coming off of a propane fired um, or powered fork truck. Being sustainable also means you're clean, that you do things with a minimal amount of waste. So if you go to look for garbage receptacle or waste cans, and if you look inside one, you might find only a few floor sweepings in there. You won't find any recyclable pop bottles. You won't find any office paper. You won't find any metal banding. Going to zero waste to landfill. And that is really important to us. We had a large number of the big trash compactors. You see outside of businesses and restaurants sometimes, the ones you see that they squeeze the trash into and then are hauled away that we wanted to drive that down to zero waste to landfill. And over about a year and a half, we actually managed to go a month without sending any waste to landfill. Now, that would be the equivalent of maybe your family, if you did not take any waste outside of your house for over a month and a half, two months, and I don't mean stockpiling at your garage and then dumping it at a later date. I mean truly not generating any waste, that you would have composted all your food waste, that you would have flattened all your paper, you've taken all your aluminum and plastic cans and sent them out and not had any waste going to the landfill. That's a huge thing for a family to do that's never done it. And for us, it was really something to do. Sustainability, in the nutshell, is doing the right thing for our people that work here for the community that we have, for our environment, and for our customers. That's really what it's about doing good business.